Y'all gonna start a new project, man. Uh, that tile looks so great. Uh, them, that crappy 70s carpet had to go, so uh, I got all that ripped off the other day. And went out and did a little shopping today. And got me this uh, Bostic nailer. They had it on sale for $2.99, and it comes with a compressor and uh, three nailers, hose, and a little bag to keep your tools in. Uh, it says the kit includes. Uh, uh, 2.8 CFM, 90 PSI, 150 max uh, compressor, 6 gallon reserve tank with a ball type drain valve for easy drainage. Comes with a brad nailer, drives 18 gauge brads from 5 eighths to 2 inch. Um, finish stapler, drives 18 gauge 7 32nd crown staples from half inch to an inch and a half. And let's see, as a finish nailer, and drives 16 gauge straight. Finish nails from an uh, inch and a quarter to two and a half. It says we get a quarter inch by 40 foot PVC air hose and fittings, a thousand one quarter inch breads, a thousand one inch staples, and one thousand two inch finish nails, lubricant, and a canvas carrying case. Couldn't pass it up, man. It was a great deal on it. Um, also, uh, got me a Bostic uh, demolition tool here. I'm going to rip them steps up with it. Um, Steve, there's some screws I found. These are the only ones I could find like this, man. Um, I actually had to find them myself. Nobody in the store could uh, find them for me. But uh, anyway, they're called uh, trim screws. They're two and a quarter inch, and uh, I'm going to uh, pre-drill my treads, and then I'm going to countersink them. And uh, that way when Derek comes along to paint it uh, or stain it or whatever, it'll make his job and life a lot easier. I'm um, also got some adhesive, brother. So uh, let me get on in there and... Uh, Start doing some demo. All right, y'all. Oh, yeah, Bostic is the stuff, buddy. Try to do this that with tearing the stringers up. My goodness. Right, we found some treasures. Here's my old boxing gloves. <laughs> and oh, my God, what we got here? My first drill. Oh my goodness. We got some flex strap. Oh my goodness. And we got a a mask. Oh well. Man, let me get in here and see what I, what else I can find. Hopefully some gold. Found mom's old bean pot here. She done. Ooh, look at there. Hearts and crafts. All right. What else we got down here? Uh, looks like some old potpourri. Oh my goodness. Got to rigged out with these nasty shims. I mean, come on, guys. That's why the state the steps creak. Steve, I couldn't help it, dude. I got into it, and you are all so right. They do like to hide their sins behind the paneling. Look at this. Dang on base right behind the paneling. Didn't even take the base off. And I was able to get that, that paneling crap off without severely damaging that uh, existing drywall, man. Uh, you're so right, dude. They just uh, they covered everything up with the paneling. They actually kind of shimmed it out and covered up the, the uh, base and, and everything. Multimaster here with this uh, grout cutting blade on it to uh, cut it out here, right through here, and uh, get this schluter out and get me down far enough where what I'm going to do is I ran it past my brother. I'm going to actually take and I'm going to cut. I got me an extra tread, so I'll cut that. You know, cut the bull nose part of it to fit right here as a as a, uh, a threshold. All right, keep training. Bro. down so you don't harm the wood but she's getting the grout going pretty good that thing will cut deep down in them grout joints and then you just take your wrecking bar here and just gently gently pull up on it 
those bulldogs right, well, come into play. that tile up uh, perfectly. Uh, we still have the backer board on here and here's your thin set and we've got the subfloor right here. So I'm gonna try to get this backer board up. Man believe it or not with this uh, blade I got right here I was able to score that right there. You see it? Now I can take this with some uh, magic eraser and get that off. But uh, man that's a trip. I got down there so far and then I ran this up underneath the tile and I popped it. Popped right loose. All right, y'all, let me see if I can get With this uh, destroyed uh, grout blade here, I was able to uh, get that out nicely. But uh, <laughs> you know how it is when you're, when you're trying to do stuff like this. I've got to get this out now without tearing, uh, tearing that Schluter up. <laughs> that would be fun. Little Sarge ain't enjoying this. Uh, okay. okay, peace. Final piece. I bought me one of these Oldham uh, finishing blades here. Said they've been around since 1857. Uh, it says extra clean, cutting in all woods. Heck, uh, I don't think I've changed this DeWalt one out in God knows how long. So. Uh, let me get after this and we'll rip, start ripping some risers and trees. Okay, y'all, I ran up and got me some oak plywood. I'm going to trim the outside out with this, uh, similar to, uh, to how that uh, nasty uh, paneling was on there. But this looks almost identical to it. It's got like a veneer right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on both sides. But this is a pretty side here. All right, y'all, let me go. Coming slowly but surely. I'm just trying to, you know, dress this outside up and make it look like it's wrapping all the way around here. But uh, it's pretty husky out. Got to do some ripping on these treads, taking out off about, I guess, about an inch and a quarter, getting them down to about ten. Did have a, right. a big reveal without ripping them. Let me show you all right here. difference I had to, I ripped this one down to 10 and it's got a little bit of a reveal right here with the bull nose if I don't rip them man I've got like I don't know maybe inch and a half reveal and whoever's walking up the steps is gonna trip every time they walk up to the next step so gotta cut them down all right y'all hey, I'm gonna wrap up for the evening here I got my first riser cut my first tread cut and I don't know exactly what you call this piece here cut but got it cut and I'm glad I went ahead and uh, ripped that uh, plywood off there and, uh, and went up and got this uh, oak uh, three-quarter uh, plywood here. It's got an oak veneer on it. And I think it'll look really good once uh, Derek and him stain it or however we go with it. But uh, I'm also going to put this trim on here like this to, you know, dress it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'll do my minor cuts or whatever. But uh also thinking about some sort of molding too if it was oak. I don't know. Maybe Steve can turn me on to something that might dress this up a little bit more. But uh, alright y'all man. I appreciate y'all watching. I uh, wish I'd have got it done but this is my first staircase so uh, I hope y'all uh, enjoyed some of it and I hope you bear with me. Alright y'all. Take care.